A series of scathing cables is causing big headaches in the UK. Britain says it's investigating some leaked memos written by its ambassador in Washington, in which uses rather undiplomatic language to describe Donald Trump. Kim Derrick called the US president inept, insecure and incompetent, among other things. He also makes other negative remarks about him and his administration. The cables were first published in the Daily Mail. President Trump had this reaction to them today. We're not big fans of that man, and he has not served the UK well. So I can understand it, and I can say things about him, but I won't bother. Well, a spokesman for Britain's prime minister says Theresa May has full faith in the ambassador. Whether or not he'll be able to keep his post is another matter. We'll discuss that in a, in a moment. But she does add that she does not share his assessment of Mr. Trump. The incident comes at a vulnerable time for Britain as it selects a new prime minister to succeed May and is hoping for a good trade deal with the United States after Brexit. Erin McLaughlin has more on the fallout. Who leaked these top secret cables and why? That is at the center of an ongoing investigation launched by the UK's foreign office. There's lots of speculation here in London surrounding a possible political motive, especially when you consider who Ambassador Kim Derrick is seen by Brexiteers as a Remainer and a Europhile. After all, he used to be the UK's perm rep to the European Union, some speculating that this leak might have been meant to sort of move him out of the way so that that job, the job of the UK's ambassador to the United States could be claimed by someone more pro-Brexit, likely to be part of this ongoing investigation. Keep in mind that this is the second high profile leak here in the UK in the past three months. There was the Huawei leak that saw the sacking of the defense secretary. So authorities are taking this extremely seriously, especially considering this really is seen to compromise the diplomatic services, the ability of top diplomats to give uh, candid assessments to their ministers back in London, a point made by the British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt earlier today. Take a listen. I made it clear that uh, I don't share uh, the ambassador's assessment of either the U.S. administration or uh, relations with the U.S. administration. But I do defend his right to make that frank assessment, and it's very important that our diplomats all over the world continue to be able to do so. What we will not allow to happen is any interruption in uh, the superb relationship that we have with the United States, which is our closest ally around the world. Well, as you heard Hunt say there, another focus is on damage control, mitigating any damage that could have been done as a result of these leaks to the special relationship between the UK and the US, seen as essential in a post-Brexit reality. Brexiteers looking to that potential trade deal between the US and the UK as making Brexit a, a possible success. And so Liam Fox, the trade secretary, says he plans to meet with Ivanka Trump, Donald Trump's daughter, to apologize. Aaron McLaughlin, CNN London. Uh, let's get more on this and the escalating U.S. tension with Iran. We turn to CNN political and security analyst David Sanger. He's also the national security correspondent for The New York Times. David, thanks for being with us. You know the U.K. ambassador to Washington well. What's your reaction to this story? Mm -hmm. Well, Kim Derrick is a very experienced British diplomat. He's come up through the ranks of the um, Foreign uh, Service in, uh, uh, in Britain. He knows his way around. He knows all the players. The job of an ambassador is to provide the most unvarnished uh, account of what's happening in the country uh, where he or she is stationed. And certainly mm -hmm. these um, memorandums don't vary in any way from things that you have read in books about the Trump administration, in news stories mm -hmm. in the New York Times, the Washington Post. So the oddity here would be if he was writing memos saying, no, they, they really uh, uh, are quite well organized, have a, a complete mm -hmm. uh, Atlantic strategy together and so forth. Uh, I'm not entirely yeah. sure what people expected they would see. Right. Um, but uh, the big question here in the UK, as you know, is who leaked these? Is there a political right. motive behind the leak? Um, how many people typically have access to these types of cables in, a, in, a, in any given country? 
Well, we've asked that question in this specific case. So one of the, of the cables, which was written uh, in mid-2017, so maybe six months or so after President Trump came in, was a very restricted cable. And it was sent largely to Mark Sedwell, who at the time was the mm -hmm. national security advisor. I'm sure it was shared with a narrow group of top British leadership. More recent ones, mm -hmm. including the assessment of what happened after President Trump uh, reversed himself and decided not to retaliate for the downing of that drone, that went to a mm -hmm. much broader uh, uh, group. So you get to political motive, and, and you'll know British politics better than I will. I'm sitting here in Washington. But I think the leading theory right now is that those who would support a hard uh, departure from uh, the European Union, Union the, the real Brexiteers, would like to see uh, Sir Derek's um, successor be another Brexiteer. And yeah. uh, like maybe even that, Nigel so Farage. So this may well be about his successor. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe even Nigel Farage. I was going to say Nigel Farage, the head of the Brexit party and the man essentially who campaigned <laughs> Uh, as, as, as hard as anyone else to get the UK out of the EU during the Brexit campaign. Um, but the president of the United States, I thought, given how he's reacted in the past uh, to, to lesser uh, insults directed at him, was pretty restrained, I thought. Yeah, I, I think he was. Look, um, just if you look at the amount of time that Kim Derrick has served here in the United States, he would be up for rotation out probably in six or eight months in any case. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason I don't think these were leaked about him. They were actually about the fight for his for his successor. And uh, if his successor came from the foreign office in the normal uh, run of things, even somebody like Mark Sedwell, for, to whom one of those cables was addressed, uh, who's been named as a, a possible candidate for this, I think that would be out of the usual tradition, and the Brexiteers would like somebody who's pro-Brexit and pro-Trump.